<laughs> Alright, so finally, crazy thing. I didn't think this was ever going to happen. You guys are down here in Arizona. We actually met up. How did we meet? Uh, we stalking? No, <laughs> TikTok, right? So crazy. So, um, tell me about you guys' selves. Like, I love that you guys did this together. Your results are amazing. Like, we got the clothes here already showing the differences. Like, it's crazy. Like, yeah, it's insane. I just, you don't realize you're, you're that big until you actually put in the work, you know, and you're a whole new person and you look back on it. Right. Because all I do is buy bigger clothes. It's crazy. It's just like, I'll just go, I'll just get bigger ones. Yeah. I'll just yeah. go buy bigger ones. Instead of, so I always love knowing. So you guys, you guys, how many kids do you guys have? Two. Two? You guys got two kids? Mm -hmm. How old are they? Four and ten. Four and ten? Nice. You guys got a handful. And you guys are both working? Yeah. So you guys are busy? Yeah. Very. Juggling the kids, working, everything like that? Yeah. yeah. You guys are in Colorado, right? Yes. Nice. Love it. Got great air up there instead of down here in Arizona. You guys love the heat down here? Uh, no. I don't mind. I'm going to melt into a puddle. I swear. <laughs> I don't like it. She's going to lose 10 pounds just walking around out uh, here. No, I am not going to handle the heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So, let me ask you guys. Have you guys, when you guys first started, like, have you guys always battled weight loss or were you guys athletes or how did, how was it growing up? For me, I was, I was good. Um, played, you know, football. Um, tried to stay active. I was always just big though. Yeah. Just bring a line, yeah. Offense, defense, yeah. line. All right. So then I was always just big. So you know, I didn't think much of it. And everyone's telling you get bigger, get bigger. Yeah, get bigger. Oh, man, you could be the best, you know, if you just put on more weight, <laughs> you know. And just so, yeah, there was nothing. It was like, oh, you know, just keep getting bigger, keep eating, keep. I'll get somewhere in life. And then you know, after a while, you don't have any control. It just keeps going, 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 and it's too late. Yeah. What about for you? I have a funny one. Well, not really funny, but I was always... <laughs> <laughs> as long as you can laugh about it now, it's fine. It's exactly. funny. Um, I was always a big kid. I remember when my mom moved around a lot when we were younger. Uh, and I was always the new kid in school. I was always a kid that just hung out by myself because I was the fat kid. So, And then I went into the military and I went from like being the fat kid. I remember coming back after basic training and being like, oh my God. I'm super skinny compared to everybody else now. Well, so you went to the military, came back to like a high school reunion or something? It, just coming back to back town, to town, like that first trip back, and I was just like, life was way different. So you came back skinny and said everybody else went to their freshman 15, and freshman went, 30. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, and it was totally opposite. And then, you know, as life just picks up and goes on, you become like the emotional eater and... I had sugar cravings. Like, I would, you know how a drug addict would crave drugs? That's what well, everybody says. A sugar is like a drug. I, crave it. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, okay, we have to go down to town, even though it's 20 minutes away, and I have to go get something. You know, like, ah. <laughs> 20 minute ice cream run? Yeah, exactly. Um, and I ended up having gastric bypass in 2000, 2008. So, so you had, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So you already I, had, so you had gastric. I had gastric bypass in 2008, and what they teach you and your recovery from that is like you don't eat anything, you can't eat anything. Your stomach's so small. Yeah, and it doesn't teach you life skills, and it was not. It was sustainable for a while for me, but um, but then I had a divorce. You end up with the emotional eating again, and you don't learn how to control that and. So those sugar cravings were way worse, and I just would, you know, like, I remember I'd sit down and eat a whole cake, like, because it tastes good, <laughs> you know? But, um, and now, it, like you said, you just buy bigger clothes, and you don't realize, like, and then tell you, I don't, I didn't realize until now, like, I look in a room, like, a room of my peers, like, I went to a um, continuing ed conference, and I wasn't the fattest person in the class. I was like, I honestly, like, it's kind of mind boggling. I had a friend, she was like, oh yeah, I'm a size 12. And I'm like, you're super skinny. There's no way we're the same size. And she's like, yeah, we are. So like, it's that mental switch. It's crazy if you walk into a room and like 90% of everybody's overweight. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, you go anywhere, no matter where you go, you walk in and 90% is like, everyone's overweight. 
And just like you guys were saying, like it doesn't hit you. So like when when was the point? Who was the first one to be like, all right, we need to do something? It was Kevin. Kevin was the one. Yeah. So how did that go? I love that you guys did this together. You guys' results are amazing already. Can't wait to see what happens in the next next six months. Um, but how did that how did that correlate with you being like, all right, I need to make a change? Like what made you want to be like, I need to make a change? All right. So we were just hanging out with my friend, and she like lost. A ton of weight. And she looked good. And I was like, well, I want to look good. <laughs> like, you know, how do you do that? Yeah. And she goes, oh, I'm just, I just cut out some carbs and I'm watching what I eat, smaller portions. I was like, well, that can't be that hard. And then you know, some coworkers would be like, oh, I'm going to try keto. So I started looking into that. I was like, well, that can't be hard. So I can just combine these two and you can lose weight. And I, just, I jumped on it quick. I mean, I, I hit it hard. So how long did you jump on when he did? Oh, uh-uh. How long did you it take? You were out on that ship all by yourself. She <laughs> <laughs> needed a whole cake while I was over there at the gym. Really? So... There was, yeah, there was probably two or three. Like, I went and signed up to the gym with him because we, you know, I'll be supportive. Did I ever go? Not a so chance. So you signed up when he signed up? Not a chance in hell. Didn't go a single time. Crazy. Yeah, so... I ended Would up, you ask her to go with you? No, because we have the kids, you know, well, somebody always needs enough. to be, yeah. I had a short window right after work. Yeah. And just snuck it in? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it just... Leave work early. <laughs> and, I gotta work out. Yeah, so... Love it. So, yeah, um, and I was having really bad migraines, and I hit this period where I had a migraine that put me in the hospital... I went in, they gave me the medicine, I came out, medicine wore off, and I still had a migraine. And nine days into it, I go to the doctor, I'm like, we have to do something. Like, my head is going to blow off my body. And he's like, look, we've tried everything else. Let's try keto. I'm like, doc, my husband's doing keto. Everything I've heard says women shouldn't do keto, it's bad for your hormones. He's like, look, we've tried everything else, try keto. Get the bulletproof. What is the bulletproof book? coffee? Bulletproof diet. Oh, the bulletproof the diet. Book. Bo- the book. Okay. The book. Yeah. yeah. He's like wrote down the name of the book. Do you- I did not have time to read that. He said start off at fifty carbs a day. I'm like, really? That shouldn't be that hard. He goes, it's gonna be harder than you think. <laughs> well, I'm eating a whole oh. cake. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, it's gonna be harder than you think. And I was like, well, what about the kids? You know, and he's like, well, be a little more lenient, but it's okay for kids to be on it. Just, you know, like let them have more fruits and vegetables or more fruits with it and stuff. And, and they should be around a hundred. I'm like, okay, well, I come home and Kevin was like, I told him what the doctor said and I was like, well, okay. And then I started like, I was really busy and I didn't have time to like really dive into the diet and this. So I just literally just started looking at the carb count and be like, Okay, got a little app, watching the carb count. What app did you use? Um, I don't know. One carb thing. manager? No. My fitness pal? No, it was a weird one that my doctor recommended, which I wouldn't recommend. My plate? So, no, it was oh. it was not a friendly one, nor a budget-friendly one. <laughs> so you had to pay for it? Yeah, I did. Oh, man. And I did pay for it, because, you know, I was trying to be... Of course, you'll pay for anything if you yeah. get your results, right? Yeah. So a magic pill would be amazing. So I um, just slowly started cutting stuff down and I look at we have the stuff in the freezer that I got when we were starting and it's so good and like we won't touch it now because we didn't realize like that it was so good but it's still full of carbs so I never did like a hard start Mm -hmm. I just did like this slow taper into it so I think I avoided like the keto flu from that because I just did this slow dive. Yeah, you didn't just all of a sudden you lose your electrolytes quickly. No, I just did this slow and but him he was like you just six right in. carbs. I was like no six carbs a day. So, so when you first started that's what you were doing. You were doing six carbs. Were you tracking calories? No. No? Were you when you first started too? Uh-uh. No. I, and I still All don't. you're doing is watching the I bus? still don't. Still don't? No, nope, not a chance. I went, all right. So how much how much are you, where did you start at? What was your weight at? Uh, the highest I remember was 286. 286, and then now you are? Um, the last time I weighed myself, which was, when did we come down? Uh, Thursday. 
I think it might have been about a week ago. A week ago? And um, you're down I how much? I think I was at like 2.15. I'm bouncing around. Last time I was like 2.15, 2.14, 2.17. So I got to throw the scale out the window. <laughs> okay, so I was telling somebody about that, and I was like, you know, I had these shorts that I was like, oh, these are my skinny shorts. I found them in the bottom of the drawer. I'm going to put them on. Oh, they fit really good. And I literally had not lost any weight, but I went shopping with Kevin. I was walking around the grocery store with my thumb through my loop on my belt, holding onto the shopping cart so that my damn pants wouldn't fall off. But the scale didn't move when you're dropping inches. The scale inches. didn't move at all, but the pants, those shorts went from like, they're now in the donated pile. <laughs> they went from like being like my skinny jeans that I stopped wearing because they didn't fit anymore to like I was like I'm gonna lose these in the middle of the store if I don't hold on to the cart. <laughs> uh, he has it. lost his pants on more than one occasion <laughs> <laughs> with the kids playing. And stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's awesome. So let me, I always love to know, like, what was your guys' why? What was the factor that is like, I need to do this and like your why factor? Because I always talk about like your why. Why did you want to lose weight? Why did you want to get healthy? You guys have kids. It's not just because you want to be there for the kids, but like, what was it now it drives you every single day to go to the gym when you don't want to and to make sure you get in those calories and everything like that? Mine was to know I can look good, that I can live longer, that I could run. Like, I can keep up with life. Like, then nobody will stare at me and, and, and like, judge me as hard. When you went like, to the gym, that's probably the hardest thing ever. Yeah, because, like, you walk in and you're, you know, this 300 or 301 pound guy, and everybody's on there, and as soon as you walk in, like, you got, like, 500 pairs of eyes on you. And they're judging you just because you're walking in that door. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to be that. I want to be somebody. I don't want to be the, the person everybody looks at. You know, and it just kind of kept motivating me. I know I can look good. I know I can do this. And just little things keep me going here and there. You know, like, oh, I want to run around with the kids. Or, oh, you know, I want to go skydiving. Or, oh, I want to do... And so it keeps me going. So there's a bunch of little whys in it. So you could have went skydiving, right? Could have went skydiving. <laughs> but you didn't. But I didn't. I wouldn't want to jump out of a plane either. <laughs> I was going to go when you were going to go. Oh, right. So, yeah, then that would have not happened. Oh, that would have been yeah, throw you out no. first. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be the guinea pig on it. Uh, it's awesome. So, that was one of your whys. Like, so you can be enough weight so you can actually go skydiving. Yeah. Love it. And then once it happens, you're like, yeah, maybe we'll do a next trip. Next trip. <laughs> well, I always know, said my goal was my, I wanted to be 200 to go. And you're at, how much have you lost? So, you're at over, a little over 300 now. You're uh, Last time I weighed myself. Is it two, like 226? 226. 226. And when did you guys start again? I started, you started first. I started at the end of January. You started January. She started two weeks after me. Two weeks after you? February-ish. Yeah. So did you guys, did it come to a point where like Kevin would get better results and you'd be upset with it? Did, did that ever happen? Because women always say that like, my husband literally just stopped drinking soda and all of a sudden they're down 20 pounds. Did like that ever happen? Did you get like vindictive at all? She was dropping way more than you were? Yeah, because like I was going to the gym and I was, was, I was trying and I was busting. I was staying there as long as I could. I was sweating. I was eating no carbs. I was like trying everything at that time that I knew. And she was over there like, oh yeah, I lost weight. And you were working out? No, no I wasn't working out. I'm and so I, was doing, I was doing net carbs, not, oh. not all carbs. And I was just, you know, kind of, like I said, that slow dive into it. And here he's like jumped off the cliff and... I was just like um, working out hours a day, barely eating. Hours and hours on the treadmill. And I was like, why is this not working? So you were just doing were you just doing straight cardio or were you lifting? Too? I was doing all cardio. Just doing all cardio, all cardio. not lifting. Like not hours. lifting or nothing. And you weren't getting results. Nope. And how was the mood? The mood? Like <laughs> I was so I was just always on edge. Always on edge. Always on edge. So I'm sure I was a peach to live with. I <laughs> so she's over here not working out, eating calories, getting no in worries. calories. And were you hungry? No, actually, I got you know the intermittent fasting. How everybody. So you doing intermittent fasting too? Well, I didn't initially know that's what I was doing. As you said, everybody does it without realizing it. Um, I completely stopped eating breakfast and I'd finally get around to eating something at lunch maybe um, and then I'd get home I'd eat you know when I got home 
tend to pig out right before bed. And would eat, go to bed on a full stomach, and still get amazing results. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So what were you? What were the? What were a lot of things that you were eating? <laughs> His quesadillas. <laughs> yeah, she's still doing pastas. Still doing pastas. Like the so keto. The, the keto pastas. Or the, or the um, what are the ones that you get out of the freezer section that I won't do now? But like they're the they're made out of the beans or something. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So Which I doing. thought that was oh I'm doing so good look at this and you look at it now and you're like whoa that's a whole forty base. grams of carbs and just yeah. tortilla yeah well um I do use the um the low carb tortillas mm-hmm. they're just kind of an easy go to for me yeah um the kids like them we can make quick easy meals out of them so you guys are having the kids eat this way too then right yeah yeah and you know they don't pitch a fit no at all. Uh, no like. I don't, well... What have, what have you guys seen change with the kids eating this way? Um, like with them and their health and stuff? You seem more active. More active. Yeah. Were you saying something more with like ADD or ADHD with your daughter Probably. or not? You were saying you saw a difference with yeah, that? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, she used to cut down carbs and bre- like when we cut out breads and some sugars and stuff like that. She kind of seemed like she was getting upset because she we were like, no, you need to back off sugar, but then everything else kind of be calm. Like, this is interesting. Like, you know, you don't have to go and take your pill. But if you give her a choice, she'll pick low carbs over taking her pill. Really? She doesn't like how her pill makes her feel. No. But it's crazy. A lot of kids will say that, though. And, like, yeah. even when they're young, like, my mom's a teacher, and she'll see it in their kid. Her kids are like, I don't want to take this anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just medicine going in your body you don't need. It's how I see it. Yeah, right. You know, she just changes her diet a little bit, and she's getting the same results. It's and crazy just to change the diet. the shake yeah. with the coffee. With true meal? Yeah, only not a. I don't use the two. I wouldn't use two scoops for my no. kid either. If I had a kid, I, use I would. About, I be, she uses about maybe a half a scoop. Half a scoop. And in coffee. And at ADD, I'm telling you, the caffeine does reverse. It's like Adderall with people who don't have ADD. They get yeah. way more energy. So and then she likes heavy whipping cream in it, and she probably uses well. She probably <laughs> she uses a lot of heavy. The heavy whipped cream with true meal and then coffee is That's, so and, good. Yeah. That's and, how you guys make it. Well, yeah. we all make Everything. it slightly different. I don't use heavy whipped. I just do coffee, true meal. Yeah. I do. Does it have does it have whipped cream mess with your stomach? I, if I have too much, it definitely. I'm just not a big fan of it. I That's like it the way it tastes, just like that. Got my Dunkin'. Mm-hmm. Got another Dunkin' Coffee. Yes, we, <laughs> we've experimented, okay? It's, really? We had, yeah, we had Starbucks, we had Maxwell House. I just think Starbucks too is sick. It, it is. is. It, it is. is. And Savvy doesn't like it, and he, yeah. I don't know. And so across the board, it's one that everybody likes. So, yeah. And it's easy. We just make a big pot in the morning. We go in, line up three shaker bottles, <laughs> boom, ice in all of our shaker bottles, and then, yeah. Send her off to school with coffee. That's like, awesome. Coffee and true meal. She's 10 years old. Love it. That's how I'd have my kid doing it. Well, I'm like, just it's don't tell other than... kids that you're drinking coffee, okay? Because then you'll get in trouble. <laughs> drinking coffee and a protein shake. Like, my, that's how my kids are. I'm like, yeah, you're drinking this. The Johnny's chocolate milk tastes different. Just drink it. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but it keeps her well, even because of the, the, you know, you don't have the spike and the this. Yeah, and the blush or spike mm-hmm. and the crash and the kids and everything like yeah. that. It's craziness. Everyone will freak out. You're giving your kid like a supplement, but yeah. no one's gonna bat an eye and you're giving the kid cupcakes. Right. Like that cupcake's gonna could possibly uh, why you got two three hundred pound kids. What did you do to change? What did you do to change so, and then all of a sudden the weight started falling off? So I did I I tried to take in less carbs. I figured maybe I'm just eating too many carbs. So I wake up and have one egg, one fried egg, nothing on it, no lunch and very little dinner. Maybe like a bite for dinner. I was doing like one. Three hundred calories. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, Three hundred really calories less. a day. But everyone says eat less, eat less, you'll yeah. get results. And that's all you can see. That's all. All the social media and all these people say to do is you have to eat less, or you're just going to be overweight. And then people who don't know nutrition is like eat less. I can do that. That's easy. Yeah, I'm like eat less. I can make my portion small. And I was doing that, and nothing, and nothing, and nothing, nothing. And I was just getting more frustrated. Well, about that time is right before. Uh, COVID and lockdown happened, and I downloaded this app, TikTok. <laughs> because I always see ads for it. You know, uh-huh. you can watch all these funny videos. Yeah. Well, then I just started scrolling, started scrolling, started scrolling, started scrolling, started scrolling, and then you popped up. I was like, oh, there's another one of these guys. And he's talking about this and that. And I was like, wait a second, you gotta hit your calories. I was like, no, you don't need calories to lose weight. So I didn't really pay attention to it. Uh-huh. I just scrolled by. 
And then I was on there a couple days later, and I saw an ad of you pop up again. And then you're talking again. I was like, maybe it was for a live, finally. Uh-huh. And I think I finally went in. And then you started talking, all these people asking questions. I just sat there and watched. I watched for the longest time. Really? Yeah. I didn't say one thing until, like, I think I finally ordered the first time. Really? Yeah, I think so. That's hilarious. I did not know that. Yeah, so I was just it was like... It probably a good month. So you just sat back and watched. I like, feel a lot of people do that. Yeah, for like a month. Because I didn't want to be that person. Like... I, you know, just, that person asks the question in a Q and A. Yeah, I was like, I'm just gonna. I don't want. And now look at I don't want to be. In now it's like every other question. I know. I'm like, oh, <laughs> but, so then I was like, oh, well, he has this calorie thing. I was like, oh, he has this. So I started following the stuff you're saying. Your macros. You gotta eat your calories. You could have fats. I was like, oh, this. You know, this starts to make sense. And then I changed it. and I was getting a little bit of results because the whole time I only lost like 20 pounds. Maybe. From starving yourself? Yeah. Maybe not even. Somewhere around there. I don't even know if it was 20. And then I started taking advice. I was like, can I get a little bit of results? And that's when I started asking. I was like, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask him a question. I was like, screw it. I was like, okay, well, what about... And then that's when you put in my age, my height, my weight. So I ran your numbers. You ran my life. numbers. The very first... And you're like, yeah. And with, with I, was, I was two hours on just the elliptical. And you're like, oh yeah, you need to be like, a, I think it was 3,200 calories. Yeah, I remember running your numbers now. And I was like, like, two hours, you're working out for two hours, all right, this is your calories. Yeah, and it was like 3,200. And I was like, I'm doing like 300 a day. <laughs> you know, and it, it didn't click right away, but I was like, I'll try it. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right. So I started getting better results. I started getting nice fats involved. Those calories were so important. And then I found a true meal because I'm always on the go. You know, I'm always. So I was like, I'll make this in the morning. It's easy. It's super good. I was like, so I started making that, started doing that. I was like, okay, I'm seeing better results. And I started seeing really good results. And I was like, I'm stalling. What happened? So I was kind of like sad again. And so that's when I, I started asking more questions. I was like, no, I stopped using elliptical. Gym's closed. You're like, yeah, you got to run your numbers. I was like, oh, it was calorie calculator. <laughs> like, you totally spaced it out. Yeah. Like, oh, it's there. It's so simple. So I went back in there and I was supposed to be like at 2,600. I was like, well, I've been overeating a lot yeah. on calories. I was like, okay, I'll bring that down. And then, boom, it just all hit. I mean, it was just, it was just crazy. I was getting all these results. I was like, I can't be drunk on weight. <laughs> I literally thought our scale was broke. Really? Because I was getting, like, good results. I thought it was broke. I went to, yeah, I, at work we have this big freight scale. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm going to jump on here. Because last time I said, I think it said I was 300 point something. On that one, and then 300 at the house. I was like, so I'm going to jump on here to see. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, it's working. I was like, this is so simple. It's crazy. I'm eating more calories. I'm eating I'm more calories. Weight. I'm eating more fat. You know, and I'm losing weight. And then, so I, when lockdown happened, I finally switched to weights. Because I you were just doing cardio? Yeah, because I was just doing cardio. And I started seeing better results. I was like, you it's see crazy. better results lifting weight. <laughs> hitting your calories. Eating your fats. Eating your proteins. I was like, I don't have to do any cardio. <laughs> Everyone always asks me, like, oh, what, do you, what do you do for abs? Like, what cardio do you do? Like, I don't do abs. Like, I eat. I'd rather eat than have to do all of this cardio yeah. and stuff. My favorite thing is he used to always tell me, stop using butter. Stop cooking with butter. That's what we've all been told. Don't cook That's what with butter. Told. Oh, my God. Yeah. I have an endless calm. Don't cook with butter. And now I was like, how'd you cook that? I started with some bacon grease, <laughs> and then I put a little Paula Deen butter on there. I'm gonna fry that up, and we'll put a little bacon right on top. Because <laughs> my friend, like, well, have you know, everybody's like, well, what do you eat for side dishes and this and that, and like, you know, we have kids' birthday party, you know, we have barbecues, we have all of this and that, like, and everybody, nobody complains about the food, and it was. All keto friendly. Really? Like, oh no one yeah. Said anything? No, everybody's like, I want the recipe for this, and that's how that's how that joke started with the bacon grease and the butter because like the Brussels sprouts put on the oh bacon grease. Oh my gosh! Grease. You told everybody there's butter oh, and hell yeah, bacon yeah. grease. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you guys! You all eat healthy. <laughs> you all eat healthy. I was like, and then uh, we do um, zucchini fries. Are those good? Well, I'm. I don't know what they're actually called. They're zucchinis that we slice up, and they look like French fries because if you give them a name that the kids like, they eat it better. It's crazy. Like I, yeah, I didn't know I like cauliflower, and when my friend's mom was like, "It's just white broccoli." She knows I love broccoli. She's like, "It's new. It's white broccoli." I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like this is so good. She's like it's cauliflower. I'm like, well, I don't like cauliflower. 
Right. Well. Yeah. So we have zucchini fries, and so it's the same thing. You know, you put them on the grill. They're just sliced up. I put some bacon grease on the bottom, a little bit of butter across the top, some seasoning, and some cheese, and you burn them just a little bit. That's where he's good at. <laughs> you gotta burn them just. <laughs> so I'm guessing you cook and he does it. No, no, no. Oh, he always he, does. He, he does. He a does lot the of cooking. cooking. Yeah. We do back and forth. Cleaning. <laughs> yeah. No, but my nemesis. It's just, it's so simple. Like, before, you know what I mean? Like, kids would want a cake or mac and cheese or all this pasta stuff. Then you guys sit there and mix and blend and this and that. I just go out to the grill, throw some chicken, a big, big fat ribeye on there. And you're done. Steam some asparagus and broccoli on the grill. That's it. And you're done. You don't need to be Betty Crocker. You don't need to make all these dishes. No, it doesn't take an hour. Some bacon and some butter. <laughs> Ten minutes, and you got a perfect meal. Yeah. And you could eat it all, and don't get sick. Yep. It's just delicious. You don't feel bloated. What were you gonna say? Uh, the kids, um, our oldest favorite is the cauliflower rice, fried rice. How do you make it? Well, first, just start with some butter. <laughs> Everything's butter. I love it. <laughs> and then um, I put just some garlic in it, mm -hmm. and, and I put an egg in there, and I just put a bag of frozen rice on or cauliflower rice, and I stir it up, put a little soy sauce, ginger. That's it. And then we just make a whole bunch of vegetables and chicken on the side. and, and that, what you want. Yeah. That's um, awesome. It's yeah. not easy. It's easy cleanup. I don't yeah, have to overthink you don't have to overthink any meal. No. COVID really changed that for us, I think. It's like a double edged sword for people in COVID. Either yeah. you gained a ton of weight or you lost a ton of weight. Yeah. So for us, like we used to be like, oh, I don't have time. Let's just run over to McDonald's. I don't have time. You stop and pick something up. And it's well, just so easy to do that. Yeah, and now it's just like now we've gotten in the habit of making stuff at home. We know like, it's just easier for Have us. you guys saved money eating at home? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, totally. Because everyone always says eating healthy is expensive. No. Not when oh, you no. don't pay for all the The $10 out. one meal, Happy Meals, would have like $8 now. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. It's like, it's so cheap. And then you're hungry an hour later. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, when well, no, 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 the kids used to eat all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, you just destroy their 5 $6 Happy Meal or whatever. Yeah, and like, you'd get home and barely get situated and be like, I'm hungry. I want some fruit snacks. Like, why are you hungry? <laughs> like, you just ate. Mm -hmm. And it's so expensive. I bet you we saved a ton of money. It's it's always fine to me. That's what everyone's excuses. Everyone tries to make up excuses of why they're not eating healthy. Like, it's too expensive. It's really not if you go and find the deals out there. Um, you guys are in Colorado, so you guys probably get good deals on meat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Meat's usually really cheap. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, that's always the craziest thing to me, is everyone uses the price of it and that it's expensive to eat healthy, but when you break down the cost of diabetes medicine, insulin, and stuff like that, it's like, mm, those doctor bills add up for sure. Right, the ADHD medicine, it's all, yeah, it's all expensive. Yeah, $250 a month. That's crazy. After and so, insurance. After insurance, yeah. Well, and then we'll get into the insurance side. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and, well, and then we'll look at it, like, you know, she'd be like, oh, you know, it's the weekend, pick, pick up a cake. This was way back. The weekend? Yeah, like because it was a weekend. We're yeah, getting a cake. cake. Oh yeah. So like really? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. He would do it too. He'd be like, "Oh, I found this cake on clearance." So like but at you'd the go, end, like you go and get oh. a cake, and it's twenty dollars. Uh huh. This cake, and you just everybody eats it, and gets really sick, and feel gain weight, and feel horrible. And well, your pants getting tighter, so you go buy bigger ones. You know, and well, we always catch these sales now. You get three twenty ounce ribeyes for twenty bucks. It's three ribeyes. And you can cut those ribeyes in half. Oh, there's like, no That's what we do. Way. It's like 900 calories of ribeye most of the time for each cut. And that's what we do. And we're like, we're, it, it, you don't understand it when you're doing it because you're already too far in. But when you're on the other side of it, you're like, wait, this cake that made me feel super sick didn't do anything good for me is 20 bucks. And I just got this prime meat for 20 bucks. And you're eating good. It's, it's so delicious. Good. And you do eat less because you don't. It's filling. Yeah. yeah. And you know, the other thing is, I do not know the last time I made a run for a sweet. Really? I do so you guys aren't having the cravings? Like, what do you guys struggle with the most with doing keto? Or do you not struggle at all? The thing I always want to cheat with is pasta. Pasta? I never do. 
but it's always like, man, we should go get some pasta. <laughs> Just because I like it. Have, have you guys like, have you had pasta since you started? No. Seriously? No. You guys have been completely... Whew. We did have, we did have a um, date night, I guess. We went over to um, Red Robin mm-hmm. and I, ch- I'd been craving fries. Now, so it wasn't the rolls, it was the fries. Yeah, but, but get this, like... I've been craving fries, and I can almost make anything keto. I read up on it. You can use that Danish or Dankish or whatever. I don't know how you say it. Um, radishes, and you can fry them. They lied. <laughs> okay? They're not good. They're horrid. <laughs> I mean, we went and caught catfish. I breaded catfish with, you know, the almond flour and the coconut flour. We fried that up, and those were horrible. And I... Really? Uh, no, the the fries. Oh, I think it's the fish. Like, no, what? the fish was great, but the fries to go with it just killed it because I wanted fries. So I ate probably three baskets of fries. <laughs> so that's the worst you've had was fries. That is probably my. That's your cheat. Like, yeah. What you crave? You the know most? how? No, just that one time. I don't oh. crave it anymore. But why? You know how bad I felt later. That's, yeah. Holy the headache. crap. It was so bad. So with the headaches and stuff, like they're gone now? I have not had a headache since February. I, I have not had a legit migraine where I, when we were down here, my, um, like my hips were hurting. And so I was like, I need a Tylenol. I couldn't find it in my car, in my bag, in my purse. That was unheard of. I had Tylenol stuffed everywhere in every place. I mean, that and my migraine medicine because I was getting them like three to four times a week. It was so bad. I haven't had to take migraine medicine since February, I think. It's crazy. So yeah, so and, and the, the other thing is, is is the sugar cravings are totally gone too. And I think it was, I think Coach said. <laughs> 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 um, that increasing the fat decreases the sugar craving. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but I like I can look at a cake and just be like, no. And I don't know if it's that or the fact my head's gonna blow off. One of the two, it works. That's a absolutely. So is that's that's one of your whys. That is. Like, what is your why? When it asked what your why was. Um, I think my why one. I don't like my head blowing up. Um, because well, also be in pain. So if you can control with what you're eating, who wouldn't? Yeah, but it, that trickles down into so many other things, like how you choose things and what you do and where you go and like, don't play so loud. My head hurts. Like, who wants to like? Mom can't come play with you because I have a migraine. You know, like you just lose out on so much. Yeah. And so now we just aren't. So, I don't know. It's really funny. Like, you don't realize it, but, or he doesn't realize it, but he runs after the kids now. He doesn't, like, play with them. He always played with them. Mm-hmm. But he will, like, chase them now. Like, do you think six months ago you could have got him to run? Only if somebody was chasing him. <laughs> and only if he could be a little bit faster than the guy behind him. Oh, my gosh. So. That's crazy. That's awesome. That's awesome to see. Like, have your kids said anything about it? Like, of you guys, like, losing weight? Just no, I've, I've heard the, um, Mom, I don't like those pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really. I don't think they... No? No, yeah, because I think they see us every day. It's the thing. So, like, so, with, like we got all your guys' clothes in front of us. So, when, like, like I was saying, we first started, like, when you guys look at these now, like, that's the thing, like you said, you keep buying new clothes. Like, shoot, they don't fit. Let me get a bigger size. Let me just keep getting a bigger size. Like, now that everything is falling off, like, that's, like, hold those up. Hold those two up. Like, stand up with them. Like, so that's where you were when you were at 300, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I think those khakis are even bigger. Like, that's crazy. And you were saying these are loose now? Yeah. Yeah. When he's playing with Hold the up kids. the shirt. The shirt one is the craziest one to me. Yeah. It went from... 52 okay. to forties. <laughs> when did you start? No, no, you were bigger than a. I think it might have been fifty six. I think the last belt. That shirt is the you. craziest to me. That shirt. Yeah. yeah, and that one's still a little big, but that's a two X and a four X. And which, what's that shirt you're wearing right now? Five X. This one's an extra large. You're wearing an extra. What's funny is the extra okay. large is loose right now. 
Uh, well, and you know what's funny? To me, when he, when he was buying clothes, he's like, this is, this is loose. Two, I was like, two of you can almost fit in that now. Yeah, that's insane. It's crazy. We should. I, I still struggle because I feel like I have a... I don't know, I think because I see myself every day. I'm like, I'm not there yet. So sometimes it's a little bit of a struggle. Really? Sometimes. Because like, I'll, like you know, I'll just be like, man, I feel bloated today. I don't feel like I'm there. But then when you look at stuff like this, you're just like... Cause like you have the before and after pictures, right? Yeah. Did you take before and afters? I took a few before ones, like the one I showed you, like somebody else took. Yeah. And I have like a couple hunting pictures, but other than like real, like post, actually like in a mirror and yeah, stuff, you know, no. like that. Because I, I just I didn't want to see myself. Yeah. I just, and I did such a slow taper start. I didn't really I didn't do it to lose weight. I did it because my head was going to explode. So I didn't take any. I didn't really think that it was going to lose weight. Yeah, I don't have one of you. Um, you know, but we saw a picture, or we had a picture printed from my aunt's funeral. And I look like I have bead eyes. They're so little because my face, I didn't realize it. My face was so big that I like, my eyes got lost inside all the fat on my <sighs> face. I'm like, I have a turkey waddle now. Because I lost, like, all the weight. yeah, I mean, like, even I had to go get my ring size. I lost two ring sizes. That's awesome. Just, like, who would have thought your fingers would shrink? Like, I literally was wrapping tape around my ring. I'm, like, petrified I'm going to lose it, you know? Yeah, yeah, your fingers shrink. His, he was buying shoes, and he's like, my feet aren't as big. Really? Yeah. I'm really hoping my brand new ski boots that I bought last year are going to fit. <laughs> You're going to get all new ski everything, and they're not cheap. Like no, pants, no. jacket. I cannot afford that. Oh my gosh. And I already have the season passes for next year, so we're going. <laughs> I don't know what Just we're going get, in. Get three pants sizes too small right now. Right. So then by the snow season, you'll be golden. It's Yeah. I mean, and last year we bought like all brand new hunting. Because well, we're bigger. And yeah, we were bigger. Nothing fit, all. so we had to buy new stuff. I think your hunting stuff is like a four X, and I mine is a two X in men's. Yeah. So and I, yeah, like I went into Old Navy and like number one, I was way too fat for Old Navy. Okay, Old Navy stuff doesn't fit. I don't even not even fit in the largest size. I'm like a size large, extra large, from a four X. So it's crazy. Yeah, like like this thing, this thing is huge. Yeah. That's. Yeah. You can fit and four kids in there. <laughs> There's only two armholes. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not having more kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's already said out loud. Not having more kids. <laughs> so, what are you guys like doing? Like, have, have your friends and family been like, "What are you guys doing?" And how has that been when you guys say you guys are doing keto or whatnot? Because everybody, like, there's so many people like, oh, keto's bad for you. You can't sustain it. You're never going to be able to do it forever. Obviously, you're going to. It's like, I don't want to have a headache ever again. And just the way you feel and your results and your why. But, like, what have you guys, like, what kind of, like, has there been outlash? And, like, what has people said to you guys, like, with your results and everything? So, like, I got, like, my, I got an ex-brother-in-law. He works around me and stuff. And he, like... He's just always been like, he lift heavy, he benches like 550. He's all, oh, he's just, uh, keto stupid, you never get anywhere. He goes, what is that? Like, you know, I'm just like, okay. And then like my little sister, she's like back home, she's like, I gotta lose weight, what do you do, keto? She goes, what is that? That doesn't work, does it? And then she always just tells me, oh, I gotta lose 20 pounds. It's always 20 pounds. What's the limit? I need to lose 20 pounds. And I tell her, I'll send you everything I do. I was like, you know, I could send you some protein. I could send you my meal replacement. Like, I'll send you a bottle. Like, use it. Like, get on what I'm doing and you'll get results. Well, I don't have time. <laughs> it's like, if I found time, anybody can find time. Yeah. It's not hard. How's it's it going to the gym now? So, I haven't been there Cause COVID, since they reopened and COVID thing. And they, yeah, they say you have to wear a mask in there the whole time. I, went, I did legs with a mask and I thought I was going to die. Yeah. Ugh. So, I just keep a home routine. And then... My whole bicep thing, 
that kind of stuff. That's right. Stuff. I forgot about you pulled your bicep. Ah. Pulling a muscle is the worst, and I swear the older you get, the worse it is. Like, it's soft, I'll pull my hamstring like every week. It's the worst. And I'm like, when I was a kid, this wouldn't happen. What's going on? <laughs> so hopefully, hopefully it's about ready to go back and we can start lifting. Yeah, people just don't think keto is a thing. But then now you guys are getting results. Yeah. What are people saying now? How are you doing that again? <laughs> They're like, wait, wait, are you still doing keto? Or did you go buy some magic pill? <laughs> yeah, like, my, like, um, I went, like, I've never owned a jean jacket. So I bought a jean jacket. I bought some new jeans and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, smokes look skinny in this. And so, like, I uh, FaceTimed my little sister. And I was like, you know, screw it. I'll take it off. In the mirror, on FaceTime. And she's like, oh, my God. How'd you get so skinny? She goes, you still do keto? I'm like, yeah. That's all it takes. She goes, how do you do that? I've been telling you this whole time. <laughs> like, people just don't think it works. I don't know if it's because they don't believe in keto or they just don't want to do it or they just listen to everything else. Like, you have to take these ketones if you're going to lose weight. You're doing this fat burning, you have to buy this saran wrap, you have to do a diet tea, yeah. a cleanse, like go do hours of cardio. I'm too cheap for all that. Yeah, you know, it's it's, just... it's crazy. So that's, that's what I always like to see is like with people you guys, like you guys both got amazing results. I'm always curious like what family has said before, the naysayers, and then now where you guys are at now, they're like, um, what did you say you did again? And they, yeah, that's how it is. I mean, her parents started it because of our results. Really? Yeah, they're mm -hmm. actually doing keto. Like, I, we got them a bottle of, of, mm -hmm. of True Meal, and they're seeing results, and they're actually doing it. But before, everybody just looks at you like you're crazy. Yeah. What about for you, though? Yeah, well, it's kind of the same thing. My mom was like, I'm really glad that you're, ha that you're finally doing something, you know, like you're getting really heavy, and, and like, that's not good. You know, she wasn't being rude about it, but it's like... Well, she's mom. Of course she can. She's... Well... <laughs> Could, but... <laughs> and, well, it's... You have kids to think about. Like, diabetes runs in our family and all of this other stuff. So, like, you need to do something. You need to get on this. Like, you know, her sister had just died of oh, complications really? of being super heavy and stuff like that. So, you know, so she was wholeheartedly... Anything that I could do, you know, she could do to help, she would. But then... When I went to the doctor, um, the same doctor that put me on it, and my response to people that are always like, well, my doctor says it's bad, find a new damn doctor. Um, so my doctor put me on it, we did blood work, and then we did blood work again six months later. It took us a little longer because of the COVID stuff. But my A1C, which is your, it's your inflammation factor in your body, it says like how much um, inflammation you have from either autoimmune disorders or you know just whatever it is it went from being like off the chart so anything normal I think is like a below a two or somewhere in there mm -hmm. mine was like 20 something Jeez. and it went from that to nothing and my mom has autoimmune issues and so she was like that her eyes like like she that just opened her eyes like oh my god I might actually be able to solve some of my issues how are you doing this again? So she ordered that book that the doctor recommended. I gave it to her. I talked to her about stuff. And so she's doing this slow dive into it. And mm -hmm. There's still the learning curve and stuff. But um, they've both been, I mean, mom and papa both lost a lot of weight. I have coworkers that have started doing it. And my boss is like, how can you just eat the topping off the pizza? I do, I do more of a dirty lazy keto you're, you're, doing that, you're doing that carbs which is fine I would I say think, like I don't even I don't think so so much anymore I think my like today my carb count would probably be really close to 20 I would think really or 20 or less I would easily say you're just doing the veggies meat and veggies well I did have an in and out burger today but you just had lettuce wrap with it right? yeah yeah lettuce wrap but with the sauce I know the sauce has the animal salad all it is is uh, mayonnaise I know it's their secret sauce I know oh, but okay. it it does have, um, it has the Thousand Island stuff. I know it's got a little bit of carbs, so I'd probably say there's like two to four carbs. Yeah, barely there. any, like in the yeah. sauce. I had some heavy whipping cream with my coffee, more like I had some coffee with my heavy whipping cream. Because <laughs> I had like a cup of heavy whipping cream, so there's oh what, like gosh. three? No, it's a, it's a gram. It's less than a gram of carbs and heavy whipping cream. And then I Unless have steak and 
broccoli for lunch and steak and broccoli for dinner. So. <laughs> Can't ever go wrong with steak and broccoli. Like, um, it's on point. So maybe I am under 10 about, so I don't know, my my net carbs, I just, and I tally it in my head now. I mean, so that's the thing, like when you know, and you've been doing it for so long, you don't need to keep tracking. Like you don't track anymore, do you? Do you? Sometimes. Do you? I was, no, I always, carbs, like I always get it, like I already know what I'm going to eat a day. So I already know what my carbs So you plan it all out? Yes, yeah, so I don't need to know. Because I know I'm going to have the same routine. Yeah. There's breakfast, no lunch, dinner. I already got it all done. That's, but my calorie calculator, I will, I will keep checking that. Just, you know, it's always good for every couple weeks. So how many times have you readjusted your calories now that you're down like 70 pounds? Yeah, 70, almost like 75 pounds, I think. Yeah. I don't know, I haven't weighed myself lately. Yeah, you just so. do the scale at the window. Yeah. <laughs> but you ladies all want to well, jump on the back. No, next time I'm going to take it to the range and blow it up. <laughs> so she, she can't bring it back in. Literally record it, please. Please record it. Oh um, my god, that would be fun. But like, so I don't know, really. I, I <laughs> Coach would, I probably said throw it out the window. I'm just going to shoot it. Man. <laughs> so I'm, I'm on this new thing where... I mean, I've checked my calories since I've started probably a dozen times. Yeah. Just to make sure, because if I want to make sure I'm getting results. And it's simple. It's not like, oh, I have to sign up for all this stuff and it's going to take hours. It's going to make sure you're okay. Yeah. I mean, I've adjusted it, I don't know, three, four times, depending on what I'm doing. Yeah. But I just want to make sure I'm there. Because if I stop getting results, then it's going to slow everything else down. So, but now I'm going to only weigh myself every, like, three months, I think. Three months? Yeah. That's better than every week or every day. Yeah. Everybody does. That's what I say. I'm like, do the, like, every month. Just once a month. If you really want to get on scale, get on scale. But, shoot, you women can fluctuate 10 pounds during your guys' monthly cycle. So, I'm like, don't even do it. You don't know if you're, because you guys will literally start gaining that water weight, bef- like, the week before you guys start your cycle. Like, it's crazy. So, that's why I always said with my clients, we like, stop getting on the scale. Because everyone's like, why don't we do a weight loss challenge? Because you're going to do it for the six weeks to win. And then after that, you're just going to stop. So that's why I say, like, don't worry about the scale or anything like that. But, like, I it, it's crazy seeing these clothes. And then you guys, you were showing me the before and after pictures. Like, your before pictures, like, with the with the hunting of the elk. Like, yeah, it's even just... Know where my at. It's just crazy looking at those. And, like, just like you're saying now, like, you feel like you're not where... You're not happy with it yet. Like, yeah. anyone looking... Anyone brand new watching this and has had not started to try to lose weight. Them seeing your results and you saying that there will be so mind boggled. But I get it. And what kills me is when other people are like, you've lost enough weight, you're good. It's not about you, it's about me. Right. It's how I feel. It's how I want to look and portray myself in the mirror. And that's what a lot of people don't get too. And like whatever they say, like, I need to drop five. I need to I need to I need to start cutting. People, what do you mean you look great? Like, no, no, no. It, you don't get it. Like what I see in the mirror, it's not for you, it's for me. It's like when you said you're doing it for the confidence and what you want to see in the mirror, like I totally get that. Yeah. And a lot of people don't, so it's gonna be funny to see what people say when they see your before and after. So like, what? You're not happy with where you're at? Well, yeah, I always have the goal of one ninety nine. Yeah. Because I can't ever remember when I was under two hundred. Really? Yeah. So when I hit that one ninety nine, go get a new driver's license. <laughs> Change the weight. Change the weight. I still want it out there. I just want to. Well, um, I lost mine, so I had to get a new one. I think the one I have now says two. <laughs> We're just having like six of them. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> I lose a whole lot. But I just want I want that one ninety nine so bad. Like I think me personally I'll be comfortable there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then weight and everything else. Is that yours? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't I totally That's hurt before. That's crazy. That was my nice work picture. And then let's find the other one. That's crazy. Uh, he can give those to you, but Yeah, I'll I'll upload them. I'll put them in the when we're talking about it's... right now. Yeah. That's insane. Well, like, okay, so I have my belt. This is... Yeah, I your have, belt situation, I can't believe you still have it. Well, I use right? the same belt. Why? St- why do you not got a new one? Why? Yeah. Because... God, it, you're wrapping around twice. You can make no, that go in No, news. because it reminds me every day... Of why you're doing it. Of why I'm That's doing crazy. it and how much... I've had to drill new holes. Like, where was it. the original the hole? The original hole, like, the first one was... Face is just yeah. Like, like see what I mean? Like I mean, your eyes too. get lost. But see, <laughs> like that's that's insane. That's so that's so you had it all the way there. That was where I was wearing it. Wow. And then I just keep putting. If you guys are listening to this on the podcast. You can go to YouTube and watch this. This is crazy. There's my, and I even had to put a hair tie on it so that I can 
hold my little watch. Yeah, you're gonna wrap that around you twice. I'm gonna keep my extra little strap over here. I love it. But That's it's, awesome. I don't know, I guess it's just like a reminder of like, this is where I was, this is where, and I I don't think I will get me a new belt. Really? No, I don't. I was gonna ask you if you were gonna keep that belt or get a new one. No, I'll one. probably just keep wearing my own belt. My <laughs> Try to get a wrap around all the way twice. That would be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's awesome. So that's, like, that's why I love doing these motivational Mondays. Like, you guys are now in this. People are having eyes on you. People are going to check and see what you guys are doing and stuff. So that's one thing that I love about these. It's going to hold you guys more accountable than you guys think. Psychologically, in the back of your head, you're like, oh my God, I can't gain weight. I did that motivational Monday every time I results. Like, I need to get, I need to keep doing what I'm doing. So. But to me, I think the reason why getting gastric bypass didn't work. Is so that's what's crazy to me. You did gastric. You mm -hmm. did that whole thing. How much weight did you lose on gastric? God. Um, Were you your heaviest before then or after? Uh, they, I topped out right at the same both times. God, that's so crazy. Like, your body has a natural weight. Like, once you've developed fat cells, then it your, your fat cells want to be full, and so they will continue to fill themselves. So they filled themselves right back up. And so, so I I went down to, um, gosh, probably right at, I got pregnant before, like, because of the weight loss. Because um, you got healthy. Well, yeah. It's crazy um, how hormones change. And, it, that, was, and that was my why then, is because I wanted to have kids. So, you did get, so that was your, got it. That so you was, wanted to have kids, wanted to get healthy. I wanted to have kids, and it was not possible. And, you know, people are, and a lot of women don't realize, like, that getting and just dropping 10, 15 pounds will kick you into that fertility. You will become so much more fertile and stuff like that. Like, and it does all kinds of wacky, crazy things with your cycles. And like, that's stuff you guys don't talk about. <laughs> I'm glad it, we don't have to talk about it. <laughs> but it's something that all the women that go through this have to deal with. You know, you lose your hair because you either have too much protein or, or you don't have enough protein or your hormones go all jacked up out of whack is for me because with the gastric bypass I didn't learn what I needed to I didn't find a way for it to be sustainable through life like eating three crackers and two bites of cheese is not sustainable for the rest of your life yeah it's not something you can wrap your brain around like that this is normal and, and, but with this, for me, it's like, this is how, you know, like meat and potatoes, meat and vegetables, like this So you is, can do it forever? Yeah, I really don't see why we couldn't. Like, I don't see, like, I know I can't have the sugars anymore, because obviously my head's going to blow. And the, you know, the meat and potatoes, like, potatoes. I was, a, well, we have meat and potatoes, but now you have meat and broccoli, meat and, you know, vegetables. Stuff that you can grow out in the garden, you know, like that's. Yes, you, that's, you guys have a garden. Yeah. Um, really. This is probably the best I've ever eaten in my life. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's insane. That's I just like I still like just looking at those shirts. It's crazy. Yeah, it's insane. It's and then you're. You about, should put one on. I should put one on. Yeah. Put on the gray one. Put on the gray one. Let's clean the word. I'm like, watching this Just the weight of this shirt. Like, isn't it more expensive than? Oh yeah, they charge you extra. They charge you extra, right? Yeah, yeah. after two X, they they charge you. That's more. probably why and you're then, having a hard, such a hard time getting the. And then on I top think of that, that you have so to travel. Thick. I you think have... that was a fifty dollar. I think that was a fifty or sixty dollar shirt. Oh my! <laughs> this thing goes past my knees. <laughs> it's for the belly. That's <laughs> crazy. It is. You have to get it longer to cover the belly, and you have to travel further. So you're talking about it being expensive. You know we have to go for like this is a jacket. We have yeah. to go to Colorado Springs, which is five hours away, to find clothes that would fit oh, either really? of us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so you so you're crazy. factoring in the money and stuff. Jeez. Yeah. It's... That's but if crazy. it wasn't for him starting it, you don't, I don't think, think you would have. I don't think so. I don't think so. Is there ever times you guys hold each other accountable? Like somebody wants something bad, and somebody's like, no. Like, do you guys, has there any been a point in that where one helped the other? Because one didn't want to do something, one did. I think every time, she, uh, uh -oh. a lot of times she does stuff, I'm like, are you sure you want to do that? 
I was just curious because like, like I love seeing couples do it together because I hear about it all the time in the lives, questions, emails. They're like, I'm doing it, but my spouse and my family's not. I'm having the hardest time doing it. So I love seeing families all do it together and just change the way they're eating. Well, it's so easy. It just takes out one person to start it. Yeah, it takes, you know, and the thing I would say to the person that's holding out and doing it on their own, just keep doing it because they will follow suit when they get jealous. Like, and that's the truth of it. Well, is that what happened? Just curious? You know, I don't know. That might, I mean, I, I kind of looked into it and I kind of was holding off. What was making you hold back? Just curious. Like, it's, it's just the, you know, like, oh, it's so bad for you and all of the, like, I didn't know enough about it and I didn't have time to sit and look it up. And I didn't have time. And so when my doctor was like, here, try this, that was like the stamp of approval. Like, okay. That's awesome that you're a doctor. Because there's doctors like, it's so bad for you. Like, that's my favorite. Yeah. People are like, it's bad for you. I'm, what, eating meat and veggies is bad for me? Yeah. But tell me I, how. But when I first had the meeting with uh, Mayo Clinic, uh, my doctor was all over it. He's like, do it. We'll do anything to adjust around that. He goes, you're losing weight and getting results? He goes, it's wonderful. And then his intern was like, no, that's so horrible. <laughs> Of course, the young, it's the worst thing in the world. The one who just got out of school reading the books from the six. I know. So bad. And I was just like, so then I told my doctor, I was like, he said it's horrible. He said, no, keep doing it. And it's just like, all right, I can do this. It's because of the comorbidities, the the risk factors, you know, the cardiac, the pulmonary, like all of the other stuff, the risks that it puts you at when you have to go under surgery and stuff. Like, it's you know, like if this is what you can do and you can, you know like make it work for you it's not that hard it's just no. it's you ha like you said you have to find that why you have to figure out why you're gonna do it and you know it sucks for a while some people hit that keto flu he hit the keto flu bad yeah were you were you buying were you buying anything for it or did you do the cream and tartar and pink no, and well like, i didn't know that until you talked about later uh, i didn't know i didn't know my electrolytes so already passed and you're like oh my god i'm dying everyone yeah. thinks it's like because I was, you're transitioning to fats. Like, no, it's not. It's I, just was, yeah, I was like leaning over the trash can like every night when I get home from the gym. Ugh. I would leave oh, the gym. Dry heaving. I would leave the gym. I'd get home and I would just be sicker than sick every yeah, day. Your electrolytes are gone then. And I was like, oh, I, you know, I'm not going to get through this. I keto flu. And I was like, yeah, it's just the flu. Yeah, I'm just I, being there. You know, I'm just like, yeah, that's <laughs> the problem with us guys. Like, oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> and, I would, and then I think sometimes too, I think what kind of helped her get into it is like, you know, she'd be still cooking for her kids, but I can't eat that. She'd get irritated. That, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I you can't eat piss that. mama off? I'm not going to eat that. Like, I just cooked this whole meal, broke my back over, and you're going to tell me you can't eat it? Uh-huh. And now, and we don't do a separate meal for the kids. Like, you know, because everybody's like, well, what do you make? Do you make one protein and separate sides? No. No, I'm not making the mac and cheese. No, and if they don't want to eat it, they don't have to. Because you know what? Their tummy is going to be hungry. And eventually, they're going to eat I love it. I love it. Well, I, mean, love it. Yeah, the, I mean, me. They love me. Oh, yeah. I mean, they both love me. You know, once you transition them a little bit, it's just like they love it. Like, you know, it's not, oh, my gosh, I have to have the sugar again. Like, you want me to cut you up some heat? Yeah. It's like, okay. And, you know, the people that are working with, uh, I, our kids help us cook. Like, my four-year-old you know, took those zucchini fries mm -hmm. and she made them zucchini cubes <laughs> and now we have like this new kind of cube thing that we do on the grill whatever she made it it was her recipe so she's gonna eat it so she's gonna eat it so get the kids involved like they love doing it because they just want to spend time with you and if that's i love it so it's like that's your guys's that was your trick not trick but that's how you guys got the kids in it too yeah and they love cheese <laughs> so you put, you put, you know, I put mean, cheese. yeah, you can put cheese on it. And I love string it. cheese. Yeah, <laughs> they love string cheese. <laughs> Once roll cheese, you know, they melt down some broccoli or something. And they just eat it up like no other. I mean, it's just, it's, it's so easy and cheap. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's. I mean, when you factor in all of the other stuff, I mean, seriously, we used to go, like I said, five hours because we live in a small Colorado town to go to the big city. So you factor in hotel costs, gas costs, yeah. just to go find clothes. That's crazy. Like, you have to go to a big and tall store. Where, you know, they, where the shirt's three times the price. I don't know anything about being tall, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I did experience something weird about that. I fit into a size medium the other day, and I put my arms out, and I went, I was like, oh, we have a problem. It fits everywhere else. But, <laughs> like, like, hmm, I guess I'm going to have to go back up a size. Oh, my I've gosh. never had that. I've never had that issue before. Like really? it's, Yeah, and my thing was, is like, you know, he wants to hit 199. Mine was like, I want to be a large. I just want to be a size large. I want to be like normal size, you know, like maybe average. Well, shoot, whatever. America, that ain't the normal size. Well, I, I know this, but <laughs> you're you're this, below average now. <laughs> but I'm just like I want to be able to go into a store and buy something. Like you look at the outlets here. Mm-hmm. You realize last time we were here, we couldn't buy anything at the outlets. Really? Well, we looked. We, we looked. We oh, shopped, we couldn't pay anything. Couldn't, no, anything. you have to go to special stores. You have to go to special places for women and for men. Yeah. Well, there was two places that I could shop at the outlets. I'm saying, no, yeah. Yeah, but like... You can't just go into like... You can't just go into... Tommy Hilfiger and no. be like, oh, the unarmed store. And be like, oh, I'm going to get this. Like, no, it's not going to fit. And now with COVID, yeah. none of the dressing rooms are open. And I'm like, I have no idea what size we are. Like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I bought more Under Armour shirts this past like week than I've ever owned in my life. Really? So I could fit into them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I bought, uh, I bought an extra large, a pink... My, my four year old loves pink. It wants me in a pink shirt really bad, an extra large. It fits really good on me. I'm just like, that's awesome. I think that they're big, like you said. Like this, like this shirt's big. See, he Still thinks it's, he thinks it's, it's small. See, but that's what I'm used to. It's like, hard he to, thinks this is small. Like, that's big. That's what I'm used but to. It's I, hard to transition. <laughs> like, he had to button his pants, and he's like, I have to like button them. I'm like, yeah, that's what normal people have to do. Like, you know, we don't all have that elastic pants. So it's like the little things that you have to get used to, like going to Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, talk about like, that. I remember yeah. you saying that. Tell them about what? Oh, the Texas booth. Roadhouse, the booth. Okay, so yeah, we came down here. Was it last year? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was last year. It was it last was... year. Everybody was like, oh, Texas Roadhouse. And I would avoid all restaurants with booths. Really? If they didn't have tables, I would not eat there. I don't care what restaurant it is. It could have been a free 40 ounce steak and I would never even eat there because I couldn't fit in the booths. Any restaurant I'll go to, even a fast food restaurant, some of them were smaller than others, I could not get in there without my stomach painfully hitting against the, the table. So I just refused to do that anymore. Wow. Like I, could, I one couldn't one do it. Size at a time. That's crazy. Or I could not do it. I refused to. I, I couldn't imagine. imagine. And it was so embarrassing because, like, when you go with people, they're like, yeah, let's go just text Roadhouse. And everybody wants a booth. Everybody wants a booth so you can all sit together. And I'll try to be at the very end, and I'll end up having to suck in my stomach and try to eat something uncomfortable the whole and night with my stomach. And the booth moves, and you do move. Oh. And I just, I couldn't do it anymore. And, you know, I didn't realize it until we were there last night. And I, and I get in the booth, and I sit there, and, like, Donna, I like... It took him five minutes to realize this. Because, like, I could move. Like tonight when we were there, I was sitting sideways. Like I was sitting up like this sideways. Yeah, that's, that's something that could never happen. And I had two handfuls, you know, from the, and it was just. You I know, made you him don't see a that. picture. He can give you a picture. Yeah, you just don't realize that until you know it happens like that. Because that was always the biggie. I don't care what it was. I would never sit in a booth. That's crazy. I would just sit there sideways. Like now, I kind of want to go back to like the cities where they have like the good breakfast places downtown where they're super cramped. Like, you literally would avoid restaurants because of the weight. Because of the weight. Because I could not fit in their booth. Avoid them. And every fat person knows exactly what we're talking about. Avoid them. The they house. have some place right. that they avoid. Like, I just wait. Like, I thought, like, I mean, I'd get bigger sizes than pants, and but when I couldn't find them or couldn't travel to buy them, I would just get basketball shorts. I'd get a 4X basketball short, and I wouldn't even be able to tie them. Like the little pool's drawstring? Yeah. yeah. Nothing. It was wearing like that. Jeez. Yeah, it was... And you don't realize it until you've, you've, you've come this far, like, what it's done to you. That's just, insane. That's crazy. Like, I literally... Like, I can't wait for another six more months and, like, see where you guys are at. Like, the results are going to be even crazier to show the before and after picture. Like, you, think, you guys take a before and after picture right now, and then six months later, it would be a crazy difference. And, like, you go back from where you guys started. Yeah. Like, these shirts are going to be crazy. Like, 
It's oh my gosh, that's so crazy, and it's just with nutrition. It's nutrition. You guys didn't go buy any crazy fat loss pills. You didn't take anything. No, I was, no, I was I, too cheap to. We can't even go. We can't even talk about the um, uh, what surgeries you have against the bypass. Bypass, like you did it, gained all the weight back, and now you're doing it without surgery, and you're getting all these results, What's and that? you're fixing the headaches. Yeah, which were. <laughs> Like they were debilitating. Oh my gosh, it's 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 just nutrition, and people think that you have to do all these crazy things. You have to do hours it's of cardio. No, just nutrition. Just nutrition. You think you, like, you don't even have to? Yeah, you like, don't, you don't even have to go to the gym. But yes, oh. benefit of it's gonna be. Good. Are you working out now? Well, once he starts, are you going to? I'm curious. So one of my friends is. She nags me every time I see her to go run with her. Okay, running again. I hate running. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I won't. I won't vouch for the friends here. <laughs> I, like she wants to run a marathon, and I'm like, oh no, you couldn't even pay me to run a marathon. But you know what's marathon. funny is I have dreams that I'm running a marathon. Uh oh, you're gonna do a marathon. I know. It's kind of crazy. But like, I, I have other issues. Like I have other things on my plate. Like I have to get out of the way first. What do you want to do? I have to pass one of my tests, <laughs> and it you. takes a lot of study time. You, you got off your sore, I think. Oh, yeah, that's a, I forgot about that. She had one of those breathing machines at night. And a CPAP. CPAP? CPAP. And you don't use it anymore? No. Really? Yeah. yeah. I totally forgot about that. And I, and he doesn't snort like, oh my God. I was God. supposed to have one. I just refused. No. I don't, really? di- I don't want to be the diagnosed. I saw no, breathing. No, he would like, yeah, he would do that. That's crazy. Yeah. So you don't use a CPAP anymore? Mm-mm. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Just nutrition. Just nutrition. Nothing. Just nutrition. That's like, it. It's all it took. Yeah. Like, since, since yeah, since the gym shut down and you have to wear a mask and I hurt my bicep, like, I haven't been working out and you're still getting results. I love it. And, you it's know, just... the people that are, like, my mom, she's, like, you know, hits that plateau. I weighed myself and I weighed myself today and I gained two pounds and I weighed myself, you know, like, like mom, just, she, I'm like, she's like, what do I do? Like, just keep doing it. Like, it will change. And I don't know, like, I have tried, I tried one 24-hour fast. I think that's probably the only, like... I can't do that. Give me... Well, it was actually way easier than I thought. Really? Um, yeah, I was building a deck, and I was just busy as hell. It's crazy. When you're busier, it's a lot easier yeah, to Yeah, I was just busy, and it was just like... And there was a kid's birthday party coming up, and so I had all this preparation stuff, and so I was just like, I'm going to wait till the party. I'm going to wait till the party. <laughs> so, but I ain't really good at the party. <laughs> but that's probably, that's probably the only thing that I've done or would consider redoing to help jumpstart or kind of kick in. So how would you guys, so if somebody said they want to start, what would you guys say? What would you guys tell them? Like, if somebody wanted to start, like, I'm struggling with losing weight. So like, with your sister, what would you tell your sister to do? Simplest way to do it. Simplest way to do it to lose weight. I would tell her, well, I'd, g- I'd give her advice on what to eat. That'd be the first thing. It's nutrition. She's got to get nutrition. So what'd you say to eat? I'd tell her, I'd tell her eat meat and veggies. <laughs> that's crazy. Just meat and veggies. I mean, that's what I tell her. That's what I eat. Yeah. Meat and veggies. You know? And I'd tell her she needs to jump on there and check her calories. Calorie calculator. Because she's got to be hitting those right calories. Because if not, you stall. Because I stalled. I know I stalled. And she's got to make sure she's taking in the proteins. Like she's got to have macros all set. And it's super simple. Like that's it. Like, I mean, I was talking to her and she was like, yeah, I'm at McDonald's. And she's ordering. Uh, she's like, what are you doing? I was like, well, you know, I'm going to cook a ribeye and jump in the hot tub. <laughs> I can't believe you guys are in the hot tub in the summertime. I tried one 24-hour fast. And I think I get just as much with intermittent fasting. I did that one. I mean, I had to go watch your live outside to make my 9 o'clock p.m. <laughs> eating time. I was starving. I bet. I think it's a lot of because I didn't have the fats and everything. Yeah. Like, I've, I've never done 24-hour. I, mean, I tried. I don't even care. It's fine. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's, all you would, that's all you guys would do. So with eating, so what would I, you say? I would say you got to get your electrolytes right. Yeah. Keto flu sucks. So you did get it? I have had, I've had it a little bit, um, and I've, you know, I've seen him go (laughs) through it, and I know that my mom's had it, and I think that for me, personally, 
if my electrolytes aren't right, I just feel like crap. Yeah. And it's so simple. I went on Amazon and I got a two pound bag of cream of tartar. <laughs> did you? Yeah, I did. And I gave half of it to my mom. Love it. And we make, we have these little bottles. I have like little travel bottles that I mix. It's super scientific about that much and about that much. That's what everyone always asks. Like, the number of, whenever I talk about cream of tartar, like how much do you use? I'm like, I have no idea. I just sprinkle just a little bit. <laughs> and I've actually found that I started cooking with cream of tartar. Because what do you use with it? I always wonder, like, why the hell does it sound spice like? What is okay, this for? Cream of tartar is actually two things. It's a whitening agent and it makes, um, like for icing and stuff, it makes it stronger, uh, like stiffer. Really? Yeah, so like um, royal icing, the ones that they use to decorate. The piping? Like, Piping, Got it. you have to have royal icing in it to make, or uh, royal icing. You have to have cream of tartar <sighs> to make I always icing. wonder, like, what the hell is this but for? I looked it up just because of that. Um, I knew you used it for icing, but um, I, you use it, like, I use a little sprinkle of it in my cauliflower rice. You know? Really? Yeah, it gives kind a little of, potassium in it? It just, yeah, because the kids need it, we need it. Like, I just throw a little bit in. You're not going to taste it. It tastes, like, kind of salty. Yeah. So I thought it was for like corn chowder. Yeah, <laughs> I just thought that's what it's for. So we take, you know, for I tartar use like, sauce. Yeah. Tartar, yeah. My mom would put it in her tartar sauce, oh. um, but I use like probably a two to one ratio, two cream of tartar to one salt, whatever okay. the measurement is, and I put it in a bottle and I shake it up and we use the stir energy drink or they're not energy drinks yeah. no, I had you look it up no, no stir has T-U-R. Oh, S-T-U-R. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Mio has some sugar yeah, in it has a, turns... has a melodextrin yeah, yeah the other one doesn't it's, it's yeah know, it's, that's fine yeah. Yeah. yeah so my mom and I like I make every morning I make a Gatorade and I take my uh, my medicine with it and I just like that's my first thing in the morning I like get my bottle of electrolytes and if I don't get it I just kind of Get sluggish. Huh. Wow. It's a little different for everybody. Yeah. I just grabbed my true meal and, I, and I've, I've been putting it in 24 ounces of coffee. So have you? Coffee, so I drink more coffee. And then I'll have an extra coffee cup. <laughs> <laughs> Get out too much coffee. No. But yeah, I don't worry about the electrolyte thing until it's too late. Yeah, right. But I, I do. Like, I take, I literally take two shaker bottles to work with me every day. I have one with my electrolytes and one with my coffee and true meal. I love it. That's awesome. It's a, again, it keeps me full. Like when I first saw your lives, you know, one of the first things you said is you don't need my product, but it's here to help you if you want to try it or something similar to those yeah. lines. And I was like, man, you know, it has none of the carbs, none of the sugars. I was like, and the first thing I noticed, I think is before you even said it, was the calories because I had some muscle milks house the little ones that were are now in a donate pile mm-hmm. I have cases of them like cases of oh them. really they're expensive for the pre ones and I was looking at it, I was like that's 400 calories <laughs> and then you you mentioned that you know there's other ones that don't have enough calories to be in the replacement and I was wondering why I could drink one of those like after the gym yeah I could drink one of those and still eat tons and tons yeah. of food and I was always curious about that so when I finally ordered it and I mixed it with the coffee and I drank it that morning. I was like, wait a second, it's lunch and I'm still hungry. <laughs> it's like 1.30 and I'm like, I'm still full, but I still have my energy. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I'm starting to like this. Like, and there has been times like night fishing trips where I've drank it twice a day. Yeah. Because it's, it's handy. It's mm-hmm. there for me when I need it. It's like so, almost too easy, quick and simple. <laughs> it is. And I use it all the time. I probably use it more than anybody I know. You know, oh, in the morning, you know, yeah. if I'll get dinner in or I'm fishing all night or something like that. Oh, I got more. You know, you can be with people and they're starving. Like, I'm not starving. Yeah, they just throw a little batter in here. Like, what is that? Protein shake? Yeah, but it's actually enough calories to be a meal. Yeah, it's insane. It just keeps you. It just keeps you on that perfect level. Yeah. Like, and that's why I started like going crazy and over ordering. You know? <laughs> I had to get a semi truck to go to Kevin's house <laughs> because it works for me. Anything that works for me, I'll, I'll invest in. No, you know, I get it. Weights at home, I invested in, even though I had to pay more for them because everything was ridiculously yeah. priced. Trust me, I get that. But I'll invest in things that work and actually will help me better myself. And it's just something that did. Yeah. And she was so hesitant because we've had tons of proteins that just grow oh us and God. don't like. They are so gross. Like one of my coworkers, he's like, when I first started taking it to work, he was like, 
what is that? <laughs> and I was like, it's a meal replacement. I was like, it's a protein shake, but it's a meal replacement. He's like, can I see the label? And I have, I have a picture of it on my phone. Uh-huh. I was like, has all that? I was like, how much protein? He's, I was like, oh my goodness. He goes, and it has MC2? I was like, I'll bring you some. I brought some of my stuff in his pocket. He goes, yeah, he goes, I have like 30 balls of protein at home and I don't drink them. Everyone was, always has tons in their cupboards. Yeah. Two, three years past the date. He's like, can I get one of these? I was like, I don't know if he has any more in stock. That's why I ordered the last one for, for uh-huh. free lunch. <laughs> he's like, I'm sold out. He goes, I think it was Kevin. And just because, I mean, and he's at the gym every single day. And he actually put on weight because he was only like 130 pounds. Uh-huh. Now he's like 200. But yeah, just everybody that, that actually tries it. And that's the first thing is, that, oh, well, it seems expensive. And at all like, times. At all times. Have you tried it? How you, have you used it? When you break it down, it's not. Yeah. I can't get one fast food burger for the price of, you know, the no. meal broken down. Of course not. You can't get it for $3.66. Yeah. In and out to be 5 bucks for the animal style. That's $3.66, and you're not getting any of the garbage with it. Exactly. Yeah. That was a perfect example. You cannot, when you break it down, you cannot touch it. Yeah, and then everybody will spend $10 on a salad with slivers of chicken breast in it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I just died. Okay. Yeah. It just, yeah, it Absolutely. doesn't work. And I wish people could understand that, that part of the concept, because they look at you like, how much do you spend on protein? Yeah. But I was like, wait, what? But then you go look at your grocery list and you spend $50 on cereal. <laughs> exactly. And they just, they didn't understand it. And yeah, that's why anytime anybody wants a sample, I like think that's why I have so many. <laughs> anytime anybody wants a sample, I'm just like, you got to try this. <laughs> just open it in a bag and you put not cocaine. Right? Because <laughs> I let, I let everybody, you know, I am not stingy. I just let, you know, you want to try it? I'm stingy with it. I'm just like, try it, try it, try it. <laughs> Because I know if it helps me and they see me get results, maybe it can help somebody else. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that are on the go. Yeah. There's more people on the go than not. Yeah. Every day people don't have time to eat three meals a day. No, no one does. If you got kids, absolutely not. No. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit in the chocolate milk. My youngest, she can't tell the difference between the chocolate milk and that. Yeah. She just can't. It's a chocolate milk. Yeah. I, I mean, it. it's just enough to change the color so that she, she has... <laughs> But, you know, she loves it. They all do, but... Yeah, and like I said, you're always looking for help. Like, and it's so crazy because there's so much out there you don't know what to believe. Yeah. Shoot, how the doctors are like, no, don't do that, it's bad for you. Yeah. Like, if you watch the magic, the uh, documentary Fat on Amazon, there's literally a doctor on there that told her, told this family their kid had diabetes and was like, it's fine, keep feeding him the sugar, the carbs, the macaroni and everything. It's crazy. A doctor really told him that. I don't get that. And it's, I don't either. And that's, that's the crazy thing. You start to dig deep into it. You start looking at where the money's going, the money trail. American Heart Association was sponsored by Coke.